Good morning, everyone. Roy again from O'Neill's Tree Service coming at you from Clearwater, Florida today, checking out some uh, live oaks in a neighborhood. And I wanted you guys to see this. It's pretty cool. Let me flip the camera. Around. All right, so we're walking into this backyard. You guys got a really big Norfolk Island pine right here. But what I wanted you to see this is really awesome little tree house that they had built. This is from the previous owners. This is a new owner here. And uh, it's almost to the point where the tree is outgrown the old system. So they're gonna have to back that off a little bit here. But this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So there's a stem that's growing over, which you can see right here, the neighbor's pool cage, and it's getting kind of close. You can kind of see there. So this is the type of stuff that we run into all the time. So the neighbor wants to remove, you can see my laser right So this is what I wanted to show you. They have this stem right here that they want to try to make this removal cut on this guy. You can see it going all the way over to the neighbor's pool cage, and it's getting kind of close, right? So the problem is that they're tired of leaves on the cage and then also it being in that close of proximity. So it's very, very common that we run into this situation. So what we don't want to do is make a large diameter removal cut right here, right? That's like a 15 inch diameter cut. And then if you look right behind it, you have another 15 inch stem that's growing right to the side of that one. I get you a little better angle right here, right? So if you make that cut, right here, we're putting an area of decay down here. So then in the future, as this stem gets bigger, it could potentially have a lot of decay in this range right here, which would then increase the likelihood of that stem failing. So instead of making that removal cut, what we do is we come out here and prune from the edge of the canopy. I don't know if you can see my laser on this on the video, but you come out here and you thin this out from the tips and it really reduces the weight. And the average clearance will be a good eight to 10 feet, maybe even 12 feet away from the pool cage so that when the stem gets loaded in wind events, it doesn't damage the pool cage or hit the pool cage. And when you reduce the length of the lever arm, we reduce the load on the stem. So it also reduces wind sails. So it makes the tree a lot safer um, for the property. And it's a better decision to do that type of pruning for the tree as an overall health preservation act. All right, so I just wanted you guys to see that in this pretty awesome little tree house. My kids would go bananas for a tree house like that, but you know, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Anyways, stay tuned and we'll talk to you guys soon.